Let's test some Nova webbing from Spider Slack Lines. A few weeks ago, Joseph Ress hit me up and asked me uh, why his webbing broke below 20 kilonewtons. He had a uh, custom loop, this is not a custom loop, this is done by Spider, uh, done on his Nova webbing and wanted to test it. And his webbing broke much, much lower than MBS. That it's good that it's not on the internet anymore. Uh, so I couldn't find it, but I believe it's rated, supposedly rated for 27 kilonewtons from the manufacturer. And I guess maybe the material is uh, not super good enough. And so they are basically asking people not to use it for highlining until uh, more research is done and to figure out why this is happening. So Adam Kaminsky had some brake tests done and he is, was breaking around 17 kilonewtons, which is not super good enough for highlining. And so that was a second test and why not do a third? So Timothy McHone sent me some of his Nova webbing that has been rigged once for a waterline and is about a year old. And since, well, he can't really highlight on it anymore, he sent me a piece. So we're gonna break test it a few times, including the sew and loop, because I love testing sew and loops. Let me show you a quick thing we did on Slack Snap real quick. Slack Snap got upgraded to hydraulics. So now, it's less noisy and much, much, much faster to reset. Anyways, pretty stoked on that. Let's test this weblock to weblock for sample 1046. Oh man, this is supposed to break back here or right about here and it broke in the middle um yeah i'm not quite sure why 15.2 is not super good enough again it broke in the middle it's very very warm and i didn't capture that one but 3,500 pounds of force. And yet again, broke in the middle. Very, very interesting. I've never seen that. In 1,048 tests, I never see webbing break in the middle. 16.9. And now for a bonus test, the sew and loop. Now, if you put it on a soft shackle, actually, I think this is eight millimeter, it would break back here. If you used a soft thimble, it should break at the first stitch. And with this webbing, or if this is super strong, it should break back here. And I have no idea what's gonna happen with this webbing. Hey, hey, neato. In theory, that is full strength. Now, what is full strength? Ooh, not high enough to be highlining on. So in almost every situation, you're going to have around six kilonewtons at the most when you highline, unless you rig two kilometer long highlines or are a highline freestylist where you're bouncing up and down a lot and weigh 200 pounds. But you can say six or seven kilonewtons. And if you want a three to one safety ratio, which is highly recommended when you're highly up in the air, that is around 21 kilonewtons. Now, people do highline on pink tube, which I believe breaks around 19 sometimes, and people are okay with that. Uh, it, but that's RBS. It really actually breaks at 19. I think the biggest problem, besides this breaking at 15 kilonewtons, and it's a really thick webbing, which is super interesting, is the fact that it was rated for 27. And that is, I think, what has made people the most upset. And it has, and some trust factors. So one side of the coin would be, what the hell? Why is a slackline company putting out a product that isn't technically safe enough? The other side of the coin is, it's really hard to produce gear and they're really taking it up the ass right now. So, you know, mistakes happen. It's not like 
it's not like it broke at five and it's gonna cost them a you know a lot of money to like correct this and they did post a public announcement saying that this actually happened they're owning it they're researching it so try to be kind and understand the fact that it takes a lot of work to have a company produce gear and when something goes wrong it it sucks for everyone including the people who bought the nova so um be just be a little gentle you know to the company spider Slacklines does put out really great products i really love their infinity uh ratcheting systems for long lines in the park or i'm going to try it on high lines uh all their other webbing seem to be really great so um just kind of don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. but what the hell do some quality control so we both have those feelings both at the same time and another thank you to timothy for sending this webbing to me so i can test it and adam for also independently testing this this is super interesting that we're all getting the same results instead of you hitting your head on a rock when your nova breaks hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe cheers So let's discuss an interesting thing real quick. I just broke test a bunch of figure eights on this 9.8 dynamic, brand new dynamic rope. And it broke around 13 kilonewtons, regardless of how we did our eights. Oh, spoiler alert, dang it. Anyways, and uh, you can generate up to six kilonewtons. It's not common. In the climbing gym, we peaked out around um, not quite three, but you could get to upper twos in a climbing gym lead fall. Um, but outside or even a rope swing, you could generate three, four, five, six. You get, I've, I've gotten six before. And we've used dynamic ropes as backups before. Some people have. Static ropes are better because they still stretch, but um, they don't stretch so much that you're gonna have a hard time getting back to the anchor. And this broke at 13 something kilonewtons. And everyone's losing their shit over Nova being 15 kilonewtons. So let's talk about if 15 kilonewtons is okay. Well, generally you only put five, maybe six, depends what you're doing, on your high lines. And the fact that it's degrading so fast is the issue and the fact that it's rated for 27 uh, MBS, I understand is the issue. But is 15 okay? That's what I'm asking. Now, will it stay at 15? We don't know. But is 15, if it stayed there, okay? And that's really the discussion more about pink tube because pink tube stays around in that range, it doesn't drop too much lower. Uh, and I don't know, climbers seem to be okay with a two to one safety ratio. Trick liners have less than two to one safety ratio, but high liners seem to demand three, four, or five uh, to one safety ratio. So put in the comments below what you think is the safe standard for webbing. I believe the ISA minimum uh, strength they want for safety ratio, I think was 20 or 21 for um, a three to one for a seven kilonewton project. So um, I just thought that was super interesting because I just spent two hours breaking ropes that break lower than Nova. See ya.